Well, the obvious reason why would anyone choose to pursue a career in the media today would be that becoming tough-minded, critical media prosumer is essential for anyone trying to understand our culture, its connection with institutions, communication process in general. Culture and media are inseparable. On the other hand, media landscape is changing. It's changing rapidly. It is changing at a furious pace. And that change presents a great opportunity for anyone's great curiosity. Maybe the less obvious reason, but just as important would be that it's fun. Uh, we're in the business of inventing new worlds, traveling through time and space, finding new storytelling tools, and we play. We play a lot. We play all the time. And we get paid. And that always sounds like a good bargain. Well, what we positively know from the media history is that no old media form ever disappears. We still consume newspaper, books, magazines, as people did centuries ago. We just do it in a different way. So, old media get reinvented. The very same thing is happening with television today. It's not just about how digital technology is changing our viewing habits. It's not just about how cable television is being replaced by online streaming. It has to do with the very essence of television, and that is television aesthetics. Um, as our television sets become internet ready, as cross-media multitasking becomes more and more common, it is of great significance, it is of great importance that we rediscover or reinvent new language of television. And that is exactly what we are trying to encourage our students to do here at Media Labs at the Academy of Arts in Belgrade. The one thing uh, many students learn at the very beginning of their discovering television journey is the importance of storytelling. During the past decade we have witnessed the great rise of reality program television shows and that popularity raised the question whether successful storytelling can be conceived, can be produced in a less conventional way, engaging simple ordinary people rather than more expensive professionals working within television industry. If we put aside the costs of this genre, um, the truth is that television comedy and drama series actually gained more popularity for many reasons, including entertaining, interesting story. For understanding television, it is crucial, maybe not to take it as an isolated sociological or linguistic phenomenon, but to take advantage of a more appropriate transdisciplinary approach, which will not deny television's role in the entertainment industry, but encourage expansion of different television art forms. So television is far too complex to be recognized just as a chewing gum for our eyes. Although some may claim that we are actually living in a post-television era, today television is still very powerful, it is still very much alive. Above all, television is the second most important media besides the internet where new development and fresh ideas are expected since broadcast television networks are cutting their expenses and competition increases. Today, television directors are facing greater challenge than ever. They're facing a whole new set of questions. And the beauty of it all 
is that each television author may suggest his own solutions. And we invite our students to explore and to suggest their own approach. And that is something worth spending time on.